The Keyhen 33 millimeter top is not plastic. It is um, aluminum, even though it looks plastic. The springs look look good in it, and then this is uh, one of the real dead giveaways I've found on carburetors. This is the carb slide right here, and you can see part of it down here. And if you look very close, you'll see that there is a green mark on the um, right where the jet uh, needle comes out. All right. Now I'm going to pull this slide out here and, and lay it down. This is one of the way, one of the things that fakers are not very good at. When these slides are put in carburetors, are made, they're basically a piece of, well, pot metal that has been gilded with brass, polished because the brass is um, nice and uh, um, it's soft. Then it is chromed, and this could be, it's probably not um, cosmetic chrome, it's industrial chrome, which means it's a hard chrome. The reason for that is that the slide goes up and down in this orifice right here, and it, it, it does wear. That, that's why they put a good chrome on it. And you can see this uh, can slide has uh, also has green right here and it has a little tiny slot for this slot right here is for the end of the your throttle cable so I would take a look very closely at your slide a copy will have um, the slide will look kind of okay but they don't spend the time in getting the slides chromed correctly and after you use the carburetor for maybe you know a month or two you can you can pull the slide out and you'll see where the chrome is worn through right here down to the um, brass it doesn't hurt anything but what it means is that the uh, the fit and the finish or the quality of the carburetor is not as good as the factory or the can. Now one more thing that you can look at, or excuse me, two more things that I would look at is if you take off this needle right here and I don't exactly know how the damn thing comes out because the, this must unscrew or something to get it out but it will have a tiny Cahan emblem on it which is right here. It will have that little tiny emblem on it. Another thing that fakers don't do yet is they don't use KN jets. If you take this um, float bowl cover off and you unscrew the jet, the main jet, the main jet will have a number on it. It will also have this little genuine Cahan, um, it'll look like that right there. I think it'll say, well, anyway, it'll look like that on the jet. If you get a carburetor that doesn't have these things, chances are it's a fake. So though, though, that's just my take on real against fake carburetors. Now. People go, well, whoa, yeah, but it's a fake carburetor. I got it for 40 bucks. Yes, you did. And, you know, that's great, except for that Cahan has spent millions of dollars in, development, in developing these. All right? Why should they spend $10 million developing their next, newest, best, quality carburetor when... Someone in China or Taiwan or, or wherever they do this is going to take a photocopier, make a 3D model of it, and, and copy all that work and sell it for $25. What happens is these big companies will stop doing this. And then you don't have nothing. 
So I would say if, if you're gonna buy a Cahan, it's worth the money. If you're gonna buy a real Makuni, it's worth the money. If you don't care and you wanna buy a uh, copy, which they make good copies, I have many Oko carburetors that I started with. Uh, when I started, I did not know that much about carburetors. I got the Okos, they work just fine. They are a copy of the Cahan. Um, but when, when you buy a Cahan, buy a real one. And I, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna start putting in my little uh, glyphs. Um, I'm gonna take pictures of this and put them on my, um, in my thumbnails, make them more interesting. It's kind of hard because I think I got like a hundred. Well, I got a I got a few pages to go through. Anyway, Dio Speed Demon, rock on.